you know, we need to know why we want to apply early. Number one, as we talked about, and, and you can summarize it between a lot of us needing to be organized. Okay, it's a lot that we're dealing with as far as student athletes go when it comes to, you know, again, staying on top of all of our achievements, making sure we're even killed when it comes to our grades, as well as what we're doing in our sport. And then we have applications on top of that. So the earlier, the better. Right. And a lot of times that comes from that initial research, making sure we can see when those applications open up from our target list of schools that we've built out. And we need to, number one, know that the earlier we can get an application in, the earlier we can get an answer back. That way we know, hey, if we may have, you know, just missed it and, you know, we didn't make it into this school. You know, now we know at least that we need to apply to others. OK, now we know that, hey, I got accepted to this program. We, we, we are either going to commit and go here or we can have, you know, other options. But if we apply late, that doesn't give us a whole lot of us, a, a whole lot of safety net when it comes to, you know, that that time period from, you know, getting out of our last season, graduating, walking across stage and enrolling in college. It doesn't give us a whole lot of a safety net. So it's super important that, you know, we get them in as early as possible so we can stay organized and know if we need to make any kind of adjustments in the way we're applying. I love that term, safety net. You're building kind of an insurance plan. Um, we talk a lot about, you know, at NCSA a lot with our athletes about being proactive. If you have your ducks in a row, you know what schools you're targeting, you should be able to apply early. Um, and there's a lot of benefits to that, you know. Um, not only do you need to be aware of application deadlines, I don't like to talk about deadlines. I want to get out ahead of it. Um, so you do have this safety net. But beyond that, I mean, data shows that applicants across the board have a higher chance of gaining acceptance when they apply through early decision, even when differences in candidate uh, strength are accounted for. So let's talk about early decision just briefly. I do want to get to some Q&A here very shortly. I'm sure we got a few good ones coming in. But early decision is a process that is binding. Um, it is where a period of time that they're making decisions where they are a touch more lenient with that application pool. Some schools will take up to 30, 35% of that class's accepted applicants through early decision. Um, and typically that's gonna happen maybe late October, mid-November, somewhere in that range, to where you have said, this is my top school. I know it's going to be a bit of a reach for me to get in there. I know they're going to be a little bit more lenient through the early decision process. And this is where the college coach can help you. At a lot of institutions, college coaches who have built a good relationship with the financial aid and admissions departments can speak on your behalf. They can say, this athlete is going to be a conference scorer for us. This athlete is going to bring championships home. So they're bringing value to this campus in a slightly different way than your average student. And they go into the office, I would sit there in the office with the head of acceptance, right? The, the um, head of the admissions office and say, hey, these are our 12 candidates that we really care about, that we've had good relationships that are expressing really good interest in this school. Um, we are submitting our support for them through early decision. And in some cases that program, or excuse me, the admissions department will come back and say, this athlete will get accepted if they, go, if they apply early decision. Can't say what's going to happen for early decision to a regular decision. We just know right now that we would accept them. And again, I don't have infinite numbers of these slots. I only get a handful. Sometimes the admissions department come, comes back and said, well, you know, that athlete needs a 1360 on the SAT. And if they hit that, they're going to be done. So we can then relay that back to those student athletes. Um, sometimes the answer is no. This athlete's not getting in an early decision. And then we can have that hard conversation with that student and say, hey, look, we really were excited about you. We did everything that we could, but unfortunately, you're going to have to take a look at some additional options. And like you said earlier, Phil, you have that safety net. You have the time then to go apply to other schools, whether the application deadline be January 1st, February 1st, February 15th. There is a bit of a contingency plan that should be in place by that time, but at least you know. So there's a lot of benefits to applying early. There are many things that college coaches can do to gain insight to what the process is going to be for the applications, but you can't just come out of the blue and have these coaches go to bat for you. You need to be proactive. You need to have communicated well in advance. You need to have made some kind of commitment to that program, whether it be visiting the school, getting on the phone, doing a Zoom call. Um, and if that coach is really excited about you and wants to go work for you, a lot of times these coaches have the ability to be able to do that. 